Auckland, Odahu. Um, just to catch up on what's happening at the moment. Um, with uh, Brexit uh, and our position here in New Zealand on Brexit, as far as the chiefs of the tribes here, confederation and chiefs, um, between myself, Kingi Taurua, the chief of the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court, and uh, Sue Nakora in Gisborne. Um, I'll be meeting with her next uh, Monday. Uh, for a meeting on uh, on one of the land blocks we are on, the uh, Heringa A12 block in Ruatoru. Um, so going back to what is happening between New Zealand and Britain and America, it's very um, crucial the decision making now that Brexit, Britain will definitely leave the EU Parliament is in disarray. It's uh, connected to a lot of um, troubled countries, including um, what is happening in America, um, influenced by the Queen herself and this flag, the Admiralty flag of King William IV. I've just been talking to my private secretary, Jamie and Marie Pistri. Patrick Stewart, and um, just explaining to her where she fits with the Patrick name, um, her surname ancestors here in New Zealand, to the Patrick family in Ireland, um, mostly in Munster, the south of Ireland, and not Ulster in the north of Ireland. Um, <coughs> How that fits in with King William III, he uh, was responsible for um, removing King James uh, from the throne in England and saving uh, St. Patrick's name, surname, church, whatever, from um, King James Catholic. So I told her she's in that Protestant um, church with the eight-point star on this flag. The eight-point star is very important on its inheritance to the crown jewels that we are claiming here in New Zealand on our flag as being the partner to King William III and King William IV. Uh, through King George III, the father of King William IV. Ernest Augustus, King Ernest Augustus V, in line of inheritance to King William IV's title to this flag and its inheritance. Um, so, King William III um, is prominent in what happens with Brexit and the build-up of Westminster to what is now reformed law and it will be reformed again um, through a new British government organisation. I'm saying that the upper house has to go. The, the House of Lords is full of corrupt, fraud people and even in the lower house, uh, with Cameron leading those who want to go to the EU Parliament can leave and go, kick them out. Um, Boris Johnson, and I see Alex Salmon wants to stay from going into the EU Parliament, and Nicola Sturgeon. First Prime Minister of Scotland wants to go and stay in EU Parliament. Well, she can pack up and go and leave Scotland and go and live in Brussels where the whole lot of it is collapsing. Because it's got too much control and it wants to take British military for themselves. They're a remote bunch of people who 
want to rule the whole world uh, with NATO and force Britain into submission. Well, as far as we're concerned, we're the partners, the legal partners of King William IV, King William III, and that eight-point star in this flag. I'm just saying this statement uh, for Jamie's sake uh, to claim that inheritance as far as the St. Patrick's surname, Patrick, is concerned, that family is part of the framework of the governments of the time, the League of Nations connected to the Akaroa Bank here in New Zealand and the BNZ Bank that's still running at the moment its business as if it was running it for us, the native. So I'm going to hold them accountable, liable to what John Key's been doing with the Queen and Obama to flood the whole world out with Muslims, take them off their land in Africa and other indigenous countries, steal their land, exploit its wealth in the ground, then leave them lying around on other people's countries and start war with them and using them to pick a gun up and shoot the people from the country, the originals. Now, it's not acceptable in our law, the Moai King William Trust law, on this land, under the land laws of England and the King William IV Admiralty Court Martial Law applies still today as it was in 1835 and those acts that King William put together of commerce and private contracts is nobody's business but ours and the King of England. King Ernest Augustus the fifth is the King of Britain UK and Hanover and for that matter, with us in New Zealand and the Commonwealth of the world. Now, she mentioned something about little baby George. That family is not under King George III, who saved the Protestants from the Catholics taking over Ireland. Okay, so Ireland has the brains, I was telling her. Ireland has got the brains of that Patrick surname right through the world and here in New Zealand, the native part of that title. On the other hand, I was just telling her that Kingi Tauru, the chief up at Waitangi Marae, <coughs> is a war veteran from Vietnam War with Governor General Jerry Mataparai Andrew. The Governor-General of Australia is Peter John Cosgrove, who happens to be a Cosgrove in my grandmother to Munster in Ireland. So he's carrying the brain DNA of all this commerce and documents of titles, land, transactions and legal documents in the government. Okay, he has the last say. Jerry Matapura has the last say here and Kingi Tauru has the last say on the Marae. Three army generals and chief inside the militants. They were together, those three. Forms the basis of the Queen's business. That's what I'm claiming here. They're running business with the native flag. This flag here, people watching in the world, in America especially, and Britain. This is the key to unlock Westminster and its inheritance. It's like England is the spare parts of Germany that put all this together, all the brains from Scotland for land, Ireland for titles and legal documentation 
and the Normans Danish for putting all the laws in Westminster together. Okay, so you have those brains that have come here, gone to America, the Cosgroves went to America, Australia and New Zealand. Just happens that that's part of the fabric here and mixed societies with those brains and the Rogan's brains. That's a Scottish English in my family. So I'm saying to Jamie, we, we are online with our faces as claim. claimants to what we write about that's floating around the world on the pound note. Our faces are there from this native country, New Zealand, uh, as uh, precedent for all other indigenous countries in the world who have been taken advantage of from the people using this flag. Whoever's using this flag gets a bill, the Levy Debtors Bill, through us and the British military. The new Britain, UK, this is one that's for you. Um, Boris Johnson, um, Mayor, was the Mayor of Britain, London. Um, now he's running for the new Britain. Well, good on you. You've flown out of planes and got tangled up, but this time you're flying out of the plane pretty well, all right, as far as I'm concerned. But we're coming with this flag. Uh, get in touch with us, myself and Jamie and our executives, the chiefs up at Waitangi, Kingi Tauru. I'm there representing him in the legal, legal capacity as his customary legal advocate. And also Sue Nakora, that's the um, um, chief of Ngāti Pro Hapu, uh, and she's a Prime Minister in her own right to govern this country with a new government, native government. Okay, so she's got all her um, authenticity of government in the Labour Party as Maori policy maker, native policy maker for Sir Geoffrey Palmer. As you can see now, he was the leader of the Labour Party back in 1986 when they put the 18, 1986 constitution together. Here he is online, on Facebook, saying New Zealand needs a new constitution. He's already made one. What's wrong with that one? It's made to break and fall apart. With him saying that, any other constitution is illegal because this flag is the constitution of New Zealand and the world for that matter that the Queen's using without our authority. That's what I'm saying to Kingi. That 1986 constitution was set up to fail and that's what this man, Sir Geoffrey Palmer, is saying. It's about time they had a new constitution. No, you can't get over this one. It's, it's illegal to try and take this flag out of its authority as Admiralty Court Martial Law right through the sea and the land and the air for that matter. No, that's not going to work. You tried everything to take this country over, went to the United Nations with Sue Nakora, she's a Harvard professor, and, um, and failed. You failed because the United Nations says it doesn't say New Zealander on this application you're putting in to represent Maori in New Zealand. It says the chiefs of Aotearoa. See? That's where he went wrong and failed. Helen Clark tried to do that with Tainui, King Tuhatia. That failed too, because it still had to have the chiefs of Waitangi, the contract partner. The private contract. Admiralty is private contract of a king, not a queen, of a king. So it's nobody's business between somebody who makes a contract in Admiralty Law between one person and the other. That's what we've got on Cook Street. The problem with Cook Street is I made a contract with the landowners, occupiers of that land, not with the police. The police came in as third party. That's why they got a problem. They've got a problem now because I've got the chiefs in Napui, the owners of this contract with King William, 
still valid in Westminster, are still there to shove anybody sideways who tempers with our information. They're all coming down to the court case in Auckland District Court. Uh, the chiefs from Napui, including Kinney. He was there on the first case I got when I got arrested and put in prison. And I'm wearing King William's badge, eight-point star, and his flag, and his coat of arms on my ship. I have the legal right of contract with him to wear that shirt. Detective Natalie Flower Dew Brown stole it off me. Told me to take it off right here where I'm sitting. Take it off. And took it away as evidence. She's taken away as evidence to hang herself and John Key. Um, subpoenaing her to the court. It's taken a long time since the 3rd of October last year. It's taken this long to go to court. Why are they taking so long to take me to court this time? It's because they've got a constitutional problem. They've got a sovereignty problem. They've got an oath problem. They've got a Queen's problem. And now they've got a Governor General's problem and a Prime Minister's problem and a Panama Tax Haven Law problem. Right? They've got a lot of problems. Now Brexit. EU Parliament, problem on top of that. And an Obama, Muslim, problem. All heightened and <coughs> John Key's part of it with Obama. He signed the TPPA for their business, their private business of this flag they're using on the Waitangi Marae Treaty House. That is our King's Bench Court. We've taken it over. Right? Kingy and I have taken that marae and the land over on the face of it, on the video and online. Our court is online from that marae. Whatever I say about that marae sticks with the flag, sticks in the court. So whatever I make on videos or documents is our business with the barrister, Shannon um, Shannon Willis. Uh, he takes my instructions. I gave him instructions to subpoena Natalie Flower Dew Brown in Solomon Islands, hiding away. And the judge says, granted, to bring her back. Well, he's not here yet. He's not in the court yet. I'm waiting. I'm still waiting patiently while I set up this court more and more evidence and more and more likely to win the case and seize the land and seize the land in Waitangi because now we have the Governor General of Australia, Cosgrove, that's my family. We have the Chief, Kingi Taurua, that's his family on that marae that owns it. The land itself with the marae stuck to it and the ship of Admiralty, King William ship right beside the marae, that's his land that they are occupying and haven't completely got it. They haven't got clear title. He can sever everything with this amount of evidence on this video and online. Right? I'm just telling you the connection between me and him and Sunakura straight to Britain, where Jerry Matapurai Andrews was going as ambassador of New Zealand for their private business with using our flag on that marae. He's the president. He's still the Governor General of New Zealand. I'm going to put it to him before the 16th of July next month when the New World Order kicks in. It becomes enforceable from that day. We're saying this is a notice on this video that we have a notice on the Pope and anyone violating our agreement, private contract with Britain, UK military will come after you. This is a notice of order from me and our chiefs in Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, to the military, British military, to adhere to our contract between us and you and the British government, the new British government now, with Cameron out and the Queen out and all her royal family out. 
goes George, King George the first, second, fifth, and sixth are the other bloodlines, the rogue bloodlines, King William, King George, the third, the fourth, and King William are the good bloodlines of the king of this flag. The other kings are rogues that are using this flag for their own private interests. Why you can't do anything about it in America is because the Queen is giving Obama the permission to use it. Okay? There's no other way you can get permission from Britain but through the flag. And the American flag has not got this constitution behind it and its legal authority. I say legal, it made the legal law. This flag made the legal law with King William for America to usurp. And they get the bill too. They all get the bill. America, Britain, EU Parliament, NATO, United Nations, Bilderberg, Rothschild Banks, Pope Francis, Catholic Church, Church of England, Church and State, banks and businesses in the Crown Corporations all get the 970 million trillion trillion pound notes spread amongst them and all their membership and all their followers and all the people who vote for them and vote for the Queen. You all get the bill. That's the order from this flag. It's still current. It's still law. The Pope can't touch it. He cannot come with his new world order over the top of this because he's taking the eight point star as his new world order. That's Irish. That's our family. That's the Governor General of Australia, Cosgrove, and Cosgrove Wānoa here. Mataru Mar Wānoa marries Rebecca Cosgrove from Munster in Ireland. Okay? That's one of the boatloads that came in 1840 here. I'm just saying, I'm going to ring Kingi Todor now and tell him just what I'm telling you, so that you can hear his voice or see me talking to him. That's the only way I can do it at this stage. I'm hoping he's there and soon, so you can get a fair handle on how volatile the situation really is. Okay, John here. Um, I'll give you a call later on. Um, I'll just, uh, uh, um, if you're in Auckland, I'll, I'll come and see you. Okay? I'll just ring soon now before I go to Gisborne and um, uh, have our meeting for one of the land blocks down home or two of the land blocks down home. Uh, okay? Okay then. Otherwise, give me a call. Bye. That's Kingy. He sounds like he's busy. Now I'll ring soon to Cora. I keep these on record. Everything I do is going to matter when it comes to a court hearing that no one's going to get away with anything with Moa. That's it. I dress her in the right way. If she's home. No, nope, she's gone out. Yeah, no. John one or here. Okay. Here she is. John, one or John. Huh? I'm coming to Gisborne. 
Yeah, I'm coming to Gisborne uh, to Hui Young there. I just. Huh? Yeah, I'm coming to, to see we're going to come to the, the Hui. Got one of the land blocks. Land block. Oh, that's alright, that's alright. I, I can try again, but just tell her I rang anyway. Eh? Yeah, okay, then no. Okay. Right. That's Sue's husband. No, she's in town. Uh, anyway, we'll leave that for now. So, um, just uh, want to address um, um, Jamie, my secretary, um, about where we stand in our both Irish part of our family and Scottish part. We are on Facebook for a reason. We're there in your home on your Facebook uh, and videos because we are linking our history and our genealogy to our Irish and Scottish families through the commerce side of history. We have an important role to play as native in this country of our evolution as being uh, intermarried with the immigrants from Ireland and Britain, Scotland and England, here in New Zealand. The problem with all of that was that they have taken most of the land for themselves but still haven't got the title, clear title, okay? I'm just saying from a real estate point of view, because she's learning real estate from me, and also who she is and for her kids to know who they are and where they connect right through to England and Britain. And our ancestors there, what part they play to circumvent the world and come here on their ships of Admiralty under that king I'm talking about, King William IV, period. 1830 onwards, nothing back the other way. Because the law in New Zealand says they can only go with their claims, Maoris can only go with their claims from 1840. You see, they've put a timeline on their title. John Key's government put a timeline of 1840. You can forget about talking before 1840 in any claims of any British title to this country and any titles that come out of that title. All the titles here and Australia came out of the British title. I wrote to the governor in, in Victoria not to use Queen Victoria to open their parliament. They were going to open their parliament there and use Queen Victoria, King William IV's niece and suck off our flag some more. Well, after a letter and a video and a phone call, they changed that idea and opened their government, parliament, swearing to the law, not to Queen Victoria or Queen Elizabeth. So they completely cut their sovereignty right off, cut the rope off the ship of Admiralty, then they're sailing in the middle of the ocean the same with John Key cut his off and sailing in the middle of the ocean with you people here in New Zealand on his ship of no admiralty. Okay, that's the difference between me, the native, and him. Using our authority and the Governor General, Jerry Mataparai Andrews, you, this one for you. I'm subpoenaing you to appear in the court. Auckland District Court, before long, before the dreaded Pope passed his enforcement laws on his New World Order to let the out-of-control, outlaw, pirate, Obama go and take the whole place over with every Muslim with a gun in his hand shooting any white man. You see, the evil has crept in. That's, I can go back to this time of King William III up against the Catholics 
taking over England and Britain, the throne for that matter. He comes along and bashes them up and his men and takes over. From that point, King William III in Ireland, King of Ireland, King of Scotland and King of England. Period. That's where the commerce came in with all that wealth. It's not our problem that the Queen and the Pope took our flag into a fraud, corrupted way of making money. We seized a lot. This is to the British military. We seized a lot. To you, uh, George, Sambalas, uh, Rear Admiral, Chief of Navy, listen, I want to come there with you and Boris Johnson, um, uh, the new leader of the British government, and Sir Nicholas Horton, Sir George Sambalas and Sir Nicholas Horton, Chief of the Military, Army to meet with me and my chief, King Itaro, and Governor General of Australia, Peter John Cosgrove. Refer to Cosgrove in my family here, title, and Rogan one or title. And Manukau Land Company title in Scotland, Glasgow. All those titles are here in this house, apartment. Okay? I'll come there and meet with you to make a new Britain. Wipe the EU Parliament right out in NATO. They're not going to steal King William's military navy and take it for them and push buttons over Britain and the British people and us, your partner. Okay? So that's to Jamie. We're travelling to Britain for that specific reason. She's there to claim the Patrick name on the native side of the Protestant church. She's a God-fearing church. Believe in her religion what she wants to do, to go there and pick up that end and find who was who in the Patrick family and what play, what role they fit inside the crown jewels that's sitting in King Itaura's Marae, King's Bench Court, Waitangi Marae, with the ship outside. The crown jewels patrol is in there and John Key and his NZ Invest companies here in New Zealand, the government's companies, are running a racket government private corporation crown business inside that marae. I'm telling you Nahui people, this is besides anyone else who's flying this flag and don't know all of this. If you don't know what the flag means, then you wouldn't know how to put that together. The real issue is it's a bank flag. It's a commercial bank private contract flag of sovereignty, constitution and jurisdiction wrapped up in one title with kings in it. Okay, it's kings, not queens, kings in it that created those laws of bank acts and pound note and gold coin X for us to use those pound notes on you lot, David Cameron, and all those ministers in there who have been voting to take Britain into the EU and sell it off and leave the people starving. Well, it's the people's turn now to take it all back. The only way to take it back is for me to come there with Jamie and put this flag up. So for Jamie, one more time. You're on the Protestant side of the Patrick surname family, bloodlines, with a direct line of claim, proof of claim, to the eight-point star that the New World Order is using, Pope Francis, 
is usurping and he's not an Irish man. Neither is he a British person or a native of New Zealand for that matter to claim anything that is not his on his title. We're going to seize that with the British off it. The same way as King William III seized King James Catholic Church off the land, off Britain. Now, right? The Catholic is the ISIS behind the Muslim Obama onslaught and murder and what you see in blood flying everywhere. And those people in ISIS have been contracted to work for them and get paid by Obama and all the money that the Americans are making. Now they're going to cut their heads off in America with guillotines. You know, want to know that? Why, why that? So that they can sell all the organs. Because if you shoot them, it's all splattered all over the place. This is how evil the Pope is. The black Pope, Jesuit, Nicholas Patron. Adolfo Nicholas Patron, this one's for you. Your days in Rome are over, as far as I'm concerned, from King William III, King William IV, King Ernest Augustus V, in line to the throne, right now, not Prince William. That William does not belong to King William. He is Spaniard, you hear that? Spaniard, German. Nothing to do with King William bloodline inheritance. And little George is not a King George line of King George the Third, King of America, King William the Fourth, New York Stock Exchange, and all that commerce in there came under his Admiralty laws. Okay? The stock exchange, the Rothschilds took it over with Queen Victoria, screwed her, made the Cabell family, Nathan Rothschilds, and there the cabal out with all this elite stuff going on now, screwing everybody but themselves. Right, they're the ones spraying the skies, fracking oil spills everywhere and messing the whole planet up, killing bees and birds and people and poisoning water and food and everything evil. They'll get caught now because King William III is back again in today's world, still chasing you out of England and the monarch crowned throne, crown throne. Okay, I'm going to England, Boris, to appoint King Ernest Augustus V. He's living in London as the reigning monarch, male king, the real bloodline to this lad, right back to um, William the Conqueror back to um, King Solomon, Norman, um, Norman Danish bloodline, okay? So that's this flag, con continue to your sovereignty. It's not broken. We're still joined at the hips to Britain in a private contract, Boris. We're in a private contract with you. All that expense land in the Pacific and America belongs to Britain. Okay, and all those countries in the Commonwealth belongs to Britain and us. Nothing to do with anybody. The Queen ran away with the dirty spoon and took our money out of uh, the Treasury, HM Treasury, His Majesty's Treasury, and His King's Bench Court. Right? That's what I'm saying to my barrister. He's a QC, Queen's Bench Court barrister, and his judge in the court clubhouse. We've got a case on our hands where I'm acting as the other judge on the other side, native, to say what I'm saying with authority appointed by the chiefs, natives, landowners of this country, New Zealand and Pacific Islands for that matter. So I see something of Samoa and um, they have their own titles, but they don't have the contract. All the other people with their kings and queens do not have a contract in private, nobody's business. They're all feeding off this in some form or another through the Vatican or the Queen. Those titles came from this title, and I'm saying to you, Jamie and I are coming there as woman and man 
nature from New Zealand. The um, connection to come and bring our titles to you to go back to that point in time uh, uh, 1890 when King William III overruled over and ousted King James Catholic from Britain, the throne. Okay? So we are at that point in time now. We are coming there to bring evidence that we have the key in this flag and the Marae as the highest court in the world as far as the Queen and the monarch is concerned and the Church of England and the Catholic Church, Vatican City, Popes. Now, they've got up against us in this pound notes now. Right? The pound notes, the Moai King William pound note is legal now. We've legalised it with Kingy and the other chiefs inside that Marae King's Bench Court. Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. Right? It's legal now. It's enforceable any time I want online and in Britain over John Key's title. John Key, you have to counter claim my claim that you are a fraud and you instigated the Panama tax havens here in this country through your laws allowed those offshore foreign businesses to operate their fraud business here with you fraudulently using it for your private companies too. Private companies are admiralty. The only admiralty that can do that is this flag. There is no other flag in the world that has admiralty inside it and banks. Now, you'll have to tell me where you get your authority from because we didn't give ours to anybody. I'm standing here talking for Ngāpui chiefs because this is beyond the normal person's intelligence to stand there and talk straight from my surname to your surname, John Key. My surname is as much native here as it is in East Island and Tahiti, Raiate Island. It's as native as that as you can get. And the Tikanga law comes from Raiate Island where my family, Wānoa, has come from, and East Island, where God put his mana into those Māori statues as a living figure, looking person, face of him carved in stone to Africa. Okay, so the Pope stole the memorials of Africa, and you, Obama, stole the memorials in America of Africa, and the Queen allowed all of that to go ahead with the Rothschild banks, and the Pope's churches. All the churches did was frighten people and took the money off them. Okay? So, Jamie, just to rest your mind, <coughs> we go to England. For me, I go and connect my family online. We connect our families online before we go there so that they know we're not coming there for nothing. We're going there for a mission to connect ourselves to Westminster, the new government, or and at the same time put the flag up, put the flag up. Now it appears that uh, we have uh, two genuine followers there uh, that are um, with us in this business, one in England and one in Scotland, or two in Scotland and one in England at the present time that are with us all the way through. This is our title. This is our day in court. And anybody else that wants a challenge can do that. But you're up against this commerce, the money that's been derived through HM Treasury in England and America, federal, state, all that money is going to be accounted for by the British military under our orders. Right? My orders come from Waitangi chiefs, the ones who know what I'm doing and who listen to me, and who don't run all over me, and make me go to them. No, it not work like that. The bank has the last say when it comes to the spoils of what they got out of the land. Not the land itself is wrecked, and um, 
um, they're going to drill more holes in the sea. Um, um, John Key is selling off some more of the seabed uh, on the west coast uh, with their with their man there. Um, forgot about his name. Um, and um, uh, that's going to come up against us in the court. All of those things that are happening against our wishes on the Marais up north and our chiefs. Uh, so, one more time, Jamie um, and Desmond. Desmond is looking after our land interests at the east coast in Gisborne and down in Rangitikia and Eastgate and Rotten Point. I make this quite clear that all the authority I have comes from the Waitangi Marae, the chiefs there straight to Britain, the contract that got you on these lands. Everybody in this country, you got on these lands from that contract, not the Treaty of Waitangi. That's fraud. That document was made to fail Maori. The Maori Land Court was made to fail Maori so that they subjected to them and the whim of John Key and his governments, doesn't matter which government he's in, they're all in the same boat, get the bill. They get the bill, each personally. I'm saying this statement that you will get the bill right at your doorstep from one of the sheriffs as soon as we get Cook Street locked up. Okay? And my barrister will have to listen because the British are watching every mistake you make here in this country and right through the world for that matter because it's their interests. The British military, you're watching this and your politicians there in Britain, you are partners in business under this flag. And you're obligated to do what we say as the other partner. You didn't give us any instructions, clear instructions of the contract to what portion of it we get. We make the rules with this flag because it's our flag to determine all the commerce that come through it. And it's proven, it's proven that John Key is using this flag. All of that returns. I'm afraid to say all that commerce returns back to the people of New Zealand that we approve. Like what Trump is doing, he'll approve anybody who's come through the front door, not the back door. Okay, it's the same policy here we have, is that you're going to be screened looked up and down to make sure you're clean. Right? That's what Obama made that quite clear that he can do what he likes. That's what a king does. Do what you like because he's got a flag to give himself authority because it's private. No, no, nobody's business. What he thinks, says and does, that's the law of a king. He has no authority. We can shut him down with his flag, Boris. Shut them down the next day. As soon as I get to go there to England, we'll talk here online first. So I'll join up with your UKIP, uh, Nigel Farage, and uh, join up with their conversations to get the ball rolling. And I'll join up with Jamie and I in Ireland, get the ball rolling there, and Scotland, Glasgow, with my friends there in Glasgow, just up from Balmoral and Aberdeen. In Aberdeen. I'm going there to Glasgow because the Manukau land titles here are the country titles of this um, this country. The Manukau Land Company is a Scottish company who put all these titles together. Okay, Not the Australian government and the Maori Land Court. Those titles are subjected to the Manukau land titles. Okay, And King William's authority. Okay. If you look at yourself in your court, where you get your authority from, that's what I'm saying, John Key, where did you get your authority from to do what you're doing? If it falls into this category of authority, you're doomed. Because we're going to take everything off you if you can't counterclaim our claim to this title flag and King William and the courts. Right? And also... Um, Jamie, the eight-point star, one more time, the eight-point star of the St. Patrick's Order 
is St. Patrick's themselves in England. Um, this is the time of the reign of whose brain was putting things together. Inside the church was the court. The St. Patrick's church was the court. The normal court that we have in the high court. It was running, ruling inside the court. Right? And then it went into the parliament. And then the Catholics came in with their parliaments. And then the Church of England came in with their parliaments. That's where it is in Westminster. So you got a mixture of some Catholic and some English and some Scottish with their churches inside Westminster. Comes out on the top with the king. The queen is there. She's got no coronation of her own. Only Queen Victoria. I'll make that clear because hers is fake. Everything of those King George I, King George II, King George V, <coughs> and King George VI is fake. That bloodline is down the woman's side. Okay? The other side is King George IV, King George III, and that bloodline is the one we're in. Okay? And with, uh, I was talking to uh, Cosgrave in um, uh, Australia and saying that the Cosgraves um, are half and half Protestant and Catholic these days. And he's not too bothered about which is which. Because the same with Jamie and her Patrick family. They've got their church fixed. And I'm fixing it to this flag. The eight-point star is on this flag. The four corners of the earth, four stars, four eight-point stars. The blue sea of Admiralty law. Right? And the blue sky. Right? Ruler of the earth and the sky in this deep blue sea. King William. Four. That's what that flag is with the four stars in the corners. And the little cross here in the corner is the four kings. King William, King George the Third, King George the Fourth, King William the, the the Fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the First. Okay, there. That's the four kings. Okay? And the eight points is Queen Victoria is supposed to be and the seven workers in the Pacific Islands, you come under this flag. There is no other flag in Samoa or Tonga or um, uh, Tahiti or, or, or Hawaii that comes anywhere near a king flag with all the power notes flying around it and the gold coin. There's nothing like that anywhere in the Pacific Islands that can match that um, legacy of Britain as ruling the most of the Commonwealth countries and the world, for that matter, uh, comes out of this flag. So I'm saying to other people who are challenging the throne, all those people on the site um, uh, that um, Matt Taylor has got, I see the picture has changed now. I used to be in front, now I'm at the back. Uh, there's an irony to that, What? why that's gone like that. And it'll come out in the courts. The court will make a decision. The people's court, the common law, is this flag of King William IV. The common law comes down through the Normans. That was put together by the Normans and the Danish. And my friend happens to be a Norman, a Vikings. Right, Viking. Uh, Kevin Rias Rias in Tarana. That's my friend that's from Build of Turbines. He's very up here. Right, very up here. Between him and I, we've got that tidal turbine in the sea wrapped up to go right through the world. And that's the other thing I'm taking with Jamie too. We're using our own lineage, our own DNA, our own whakapapa we call it, um, um, ancestral inheritance, families, to make our claim into Westminster. I'm going as a surrogate king until they put King Ernest Augustus in. All right? I'm there to speak for King William IV and this flag and all its fortunes and inheritance derived through the British military and British government. Has to audit the books to see where all that money has gone. Right through the world. Okay, that's me. Okay, that's all I want to uh, say. Uh, I'll just try King again one more time. Yeah.
Vamos a orar. I always do this to keep on record. And he doesn't mind. Obviously he's busy. So, I think that's long enough for this video. Jamie, I hope that explains it, because we're going down the East Coast together to Gisborne, to a meeting on Heringa A12 block uh, for the trustees and, and the land um, shareholders. I'm coming there to have a little talk about our proposals, what to do with that land of bush, manuka trees, kanaka trees, honey, all that sort of thing, uh, on 42 hectares, quite a big place. And um, that'll be the first block that I've ever gone to a meeting with Tumutumu Pairoa being the trustees when there's no trust to look after the land. So they're rearranging the administration and the trust itself with new trustees, I guess, and any more ideas about what to do with the land and develop it for the best return for shareholders. So I'm going to put in my sixpence worth of projects I want to do and uh, that will fall into place as soon as I get our funding sorted. Cook Street is, is, a, is one of those seized properties. We're going to seize a lot of property. That's what America is doing now. The sheriffs are seizing property left, right and centre for, from the Ford people. Obama, you'll be one that they'll be sitting in jail with all the properties and everything you've got taken off you because this is the flag that's allowed you to do what you're doing and get away with it no more because I'm hoping Trump gets to listen to this video because all my videos are straight out off the cuff um, uh, social media and um, I'm saying it as it is and it's for anybody to say not right all my statements are clear affidavits verbal affidavits online whatever I say you have to say and challenge in court. If you lose, you lose big time. And so I'm saying to those owners on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, you'll lose big time. Every single thing. I'm warning you, I'm warning you again, that you're hiding behind the police, and the lawyers and the judges are hiding behind the police. And the police are liable. So the police, woman that arrested me, has libeled all of you, and that you've libeled John Key, and John Key's libeled the Governor General, and the Governor General has libeled the Queen. On the other hand, the Queen has libeled the Governor General here, and the Governor General in Australia, and libeled um, John Key, who's libeled the Police Minister, uh, uh, Judith Collins, and libeled the Justice Minister, Amy Adams, and libeled. Um, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, detective um, in the CIB, Criminal Investigation Bureau. They'll be investigating themselves for crimes against me and crimes of church and state that created all this racket going on inside that marae on our land. I'm exposing you all online as being fraudulent, running business racket here and saying you're going to tighten up the laws. It's that tight now, it's tightening your neck around tightening what law? Tightening finance laws, foreign, uh, foreign business laws, when they've slipped through with you, Amy Adams, and Judith Collins was in there before, then put her back to police again, to bouncing around the same fraudsters, and Sean Elias, Chief Justice in the Supreme Court, the other biggest crook with her husband, Fletcher, Hugh Fletcher, in all that wine box stuff. Not finished with you yet with wine box and Winston Peters chasing after that. I'll bring that up at the same time inside that building. You've all committed yourselves 